after over a week of hoping and praying to God that my order didn't get canceled by the Pokemon Center, I finally came in today. The Pikachu with gray felt hat promo card that everyone has been after. The Van Gogh Pikachu itself in the flesh. I'm really happy to get my hands on this. I also got this Astral Radiance pack and I got the Pikachu VMAX collection box. Hopefully they print more Van Gogh Pikachus because I know a lot of people who wanted it weren't able to get it and it was absolutely ridiculously hard to try to get this card. People were storming the Van Gogh Museum. I'm pretty sure they had to cancel the collaboration a little bit early because people were being very uncivil. It was really not a good look for the Pokemon company at all. It should not be this hard to get a promo card. But hopefully they just do the Oprah thing and it's like, you get a Van Gogh Pikachu and you get a Van Gogh Pikachu and they print this card to death because I want everyone who wants it to have it. And that's a platform I will stand by. But let's take a closer look at these promos and open up these packs. We have the PS de Resistance, the Pikachu with gray felt hat Van Gogh promo. Really cute looking card. Uh, it's like, I'd, honestly, I would hang that artwork up on my wall. It just says, you know, artwork, Van Gogh is a museum. Of course it's going to look cool. They have some really cool other prints. I saw like a Sun Flora one, which is really nice. We have the Pikachu V as well, just running, looking really cute. We have a Pikachu V Max, normal size card as well. And then the giant card of the Pikachu V Max, which makes a lot of sense. The Chunkachu would be the giant oversized card. Really cool looking right there. And now let's see what we can get in this Astral Radiance pack. Let's start it off with the Hanger pack. Let's see if the Pokemon Center luck will prevail. All the Pokemon Center ETBs I've opened up, I mean, I've only opened up the one. I opened up an Obsidian Flames one. I got like two or three all arts, and then I got the Gold Charizard too, which was really nice. As we we're going to get a Mistrevious, a Barbroach, Ponyard, an Eevee, Heracross, Gardenia's Vigor, Hisuian Basket Legion, and then an Energy Card, and a Bisharp, and a Perugly, and an Azelf. Pretty chill right there. And then we're gonna go into our Crown Zenith pack. These are absolutely goaded. The pull rates are insane in Crown Zenith. So I know this is gonna be an absolute insane pull. Because so we're gonna get a Scyther for our first one. Let's see what we can get otherwise. A Starly, a Riolu, a Aaron, Cricketot, Nessa. Okay, it's a signed Nessa card. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, we got Nessa's autograph from our first pack. That's really nice. So we also get a Luxray, and then an Energy Card, a Soul Rock, a Lunatone, and then the Trekking Shoes. That's just really cool. I want to I'll do. I'll do the. I've seen this before. The four pack trick. This is where we can get the big cool card at the end. Although honestly, a lot of the cards are cool. So it's like honestly, it's like is your is it is whatever. You know, you're you're always gonna get some cool cards. Like the common artworks in Pokemon are really nice. I'm happy just pulling some Pokemon. As we get the Ultra Ball, Crocorock, and Energy Switch. The Scyther. Oh, this one is cool. Speaking of a cool looking normal card, another Riolu, one of my favorite mons. Oh, what was that back there? Something cool is back there. So we get the Young Goose, a Cherubi, and then Absol. Okay, let's go. Go Lady and Gallery. The Star is here too. I passed that one up by accident. But this Absol is really sick. Look at him in the ruins. That's just a really nice card. And we're also going to get a Mewtwo, the Legendary. Well, this is one of my favorite Legendaries right here, Mewtwo. That's an absolute W of a pack right there. It's like I said, you cannot go wrong with Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith is an absolutely goaded set. And it's like, it's, it's so much fun pulling. Crown Zenith, it might be my favorite set, honestly. Because the pull rates are good. And there's just so many cards that you want, in general, from Crown Zenith. It's like, you can't go wrong opening Crown Zenith. It's always a dub. So we're going to get the green... Energy, Friends in Hisui, a Shaman. Oh, this isn't only an Uncommon too. See, that's the thing. They're relegating Legendaries to Uncommons. That's how good of a set this is. They put in too many bangers. We can execute a Cherubi, Young Goose, and then a Pikachu. Wait, this is the P for Pika. It's a Pika party. Let's go. Another Pikachu. Oh, this is so cute. He's got the leaf on the head in the ring. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Let's go. And then we're going to get a Blossom too. We got the leaf on the head, and we got a leaf. Oh, it's the foreshadowing. We had a leaf energy. It's foreshadowing right there. You should have known. Should have known we were going to get this. Oh, that's so cool. So we're going to go on to our next crown zine pack. Let's see what we can get inside. Looks like the poniard is going to be the first one, but I'll turn it backwards. One, two, three, four. Because I know people like watching it like that. Because so we're going to get a dark energy started off. 
Energy Switch, the Dusclops, Spooky Season, Rare Candy, the Ponyer that we saw before. We got a Seal, a Rock Rough. Oh, it's back there. Oh, it's something cool back there. So we got an Aeron and a Riolu. No, let's see. We got another Pika. What are the odds of that? It, it really is a Pika party right now. We have so many Pikachus. This is so cool. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. I love it. And we're going to get a Zacian too. Oh, this has got a holographic. Very cool. Very cool right here. Oh my goodness. And we go on to our last pack. Absolutely insane pulls so far. Cannot go wrong opening Crown Zenith. Like I said, if you see Crown Zenith out in the wild, just, just pick up a pack. It's like, you're not, you're going to be happy. You're going to open it up and you're going to be like, wow, this is amazing. I think the static electricity from the Pika party was a little bit too strong and it zapped the camera. But hey, we got through most of the opening and the last pack wasn't too crazy. But overall, the posts were really good. Really had a good time opening this up. But if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for Raph Collects. And until next time, I hope you have a good one.